Cheers, guys, and welcome to another day at the cottage. It's Monday, and I have some priorities of things that I would love to do today. First of all, the day has come. We are going to clean the cottage because I've been talking about the dream of having a no shoe indoor cottage for summer. That's about to happen. We're gonna clean inside organize throw things out after that i would like to have a look at the tulips some of them that are no longer in bloom anymore i'm gonna try to braid and then like tuck down to the ground plant some new things in between so that we're still gonna have flowers for summer and last of all i would like to remove some weeds here and there because they've really started to come up over the past couple of weeks so that is the three things that I will prioritize on this beautiful sunny Monday. I've already tried to organize a little bit and I've put some stuff on the bed so the focus is going to be cleaning the floor it's been pretty dirty it's become pretty dirty over the winter so I'm gonna wipe that I'm gonna wash it and then there's also some really dirty windows that needs a bit of attention so that's also something I'm gonna do today I have brought some cookies that I made yesterday and some cleaning equipment. I'm going to use my favorite cleaning soap, it's Ajax. I know it's so standard, I just, this is like the smell of clean to me. The most amazing thing about getting everything cleaned up is that you get some new ideas. So I have a few things in here that I would love to change up um, and bring in as an example. Ever since I got the keys to the cottage, this corner right inside the cottage has been my messy corner where I just grab something that I need just like real quickly and I would love to have this like inside a small cabinet or something. A solution could also be to switch out that small cabinet with something bigger that has more space in it. So that's a consideration, something I want to change. <laughs> I have wiped up as much dust from the floor as I possibly could so now it's time to get some water wash the floor and then eventually the plan is to cover the floor in here with some different rocks and I think it's gonna look really cute all like mixed together also haven't shown you this one that I bought last week I think it's really cute has a tulip in it Yeah. 
done cleaning the house before I show you the results we have a pretty strange garden tennis ball mystery going on because the last time I came here I found a tennis ball in the new wildflower area over here and now I've just found the same tennis ball in the back of the house that means that since I was here last time where I found it here it's been moved to the back of the garden That is so strange. Last summer, my neighbor's dog sometimes came to visit through this hole, but as you can see, that's not an option anymore. So it's really confusing me how this has been moved. I think we're gonna put it somewhere and see if that's gonna happen again. I'm going to put it here and we'll see. And I'm done cleaning inside. I must admit that I thought the floors inside were gonna get like wider and cleaner but I mean it is an allotment garden cottage so people have been wearing shoes in there for years and years so I'm gonna live with it but I'm also thinking of like repainting pretty much the whole kitchen like redoing the floors um, pretty much yeah everything in the kitchen so I'm gonna show you what it looks like now all clean i'm just gonna be a crime writer for a second so i have tidied cleaned the floors cleaned the windows they look a lot a lot lot better i still have some leftover paint on them that i'm gonna remove but i still need to paint this window from the outside so it's gonna be even better I have reorganized the pillows on the bed, put some hats and a blanket up there, and then the kitchen. I have a lot of things I would like to change in the kitchen because there is a permanently bit of a cold light out here. So the plan is to actually give it some new colors, changing out this like white grayish tone to something warmer. So I'm making plans for the kitchen but it's still just quite lovely to have it clean and I think that somebody deserves a cookie cookies with marzipan and dark chocolate they're yummy Oh my god guys, you should just have seen me because I've been stress cutting the grass. My machine hasn't been working for some time. I managed to turn it on. It kept sounding like it was going to turn off, but I just ran around the garden trying to trim as much as possible. I managed to do the whole front yard and then when I made it here, it turned off. I'm giving the machine some time to think. And then hopefully I can cut the rest of the grass later today. But you should have seen me. I was like running around in the weirdest pattern to just cut as much grass as possible. It made no sense. It was just stress cutting. <laughs> but I managed to do it and that's so, so lovely. So it's time to find out if I found the perfect solution for my tulips because some of them are no longer in bloom anymore and soon the rest are gonna follow. I've seen that it's possible to braid them and then, and then leave them, put something else in the ground and it's gonna cover them and they're gonna come back again next year. So that's what we're gonna do, no cutting, we're gonna braid them and see how it works. So. The ones I have here were first to come up, so they were also the first ones to start looking quite sad. So we're going to try with these today. Here we have it. That's what it looks like. It looks a bit strange. 
at least it's going to be so much easier to cover them up and it's going to come back stronger next year so i think that's what i'm going to do so that we'll get some more space for sunflowers and, and new things i had only just finished that last clip when i heard a noise behind me and i was like what's that so i turned around and it was my boyfriend who came here to surprise me um, he bought me something isn't he adorable he got me these amazing pink flowers in a bouquet i put them in water and then he got me a begonia that i can have in a pot outside for summer and then for winter i need to bring it inside and it gets these like salmon pink small flowers isn't he cute he's just popped out to get some lunch and then he's gonna come back we're gonna sit in the sun and eat together until then i'm going to braid down some more tulips i think i'm getting better it takes practice <laughs> I must admit I don't think it's particularly beautiful but it's very practical because now I have space to plant in something new and I've also realized a few things such as if you guys remember I planted a new clematis here um, a few weeks ago and I had this stick that we didn't really know if it was gonna make it but you can see the spruce is there getting bigger so it might actually survive and then I also have a hortensia from last year that's going to come up really big and beautiful. So there are a few surprises underneath the tulips and I'm now ready to plant some new stuff. I feel like I've come up with a really good solution. I'm going to plant some flowers here, throw wildflower seeds under the window. I had that last year and I think it looked really adorable. And then further over here, I'm also going to plant a few things that are already in bloom right next to a sunflower, the hortensia and also the um, clematis that's going to grow up. I think that's going to look really cute. I know that I'm not exactly a neutral person to say this but isn't it just really cozy here? My boyfriend is practicing his guitar down by the creek. I think I'm gonna go see if I can find him. But before then, I just wanted to give you an update on the flower ocean, the dahlia bed. So much is coming up, slowly but surely. You can see the, these like shark fins, shark tails up here. That's what I call them. You can see there. They're popping up. It's a slow progress, but it's still progress. Let's go find him. I just have about five minutes to tell you why the visit in the cottage today ended a little bit weird. I don't even know if you noticed, but 
I was gonna go find my boyfriend he was playing guitar by the creek and as I was going there I was walking towards the woods and I was just like doing a clip of the cows and then I was doing a clip of the sky and I noticed that there were a car coming towards me from the woods which is odd because it's a bike lane so you're not supposed to drive your car in there and I could hear that there were some people like having fun laughing with their windows down but I was like I'm not gonna stare at them but then they stopped right where I was like taking the making the clip and they were laughing and one of them was saying action and then they just stopped there for a few seconds like right in front of me i had no phone and i could just feel that the situation was like off luckily they started the car again but only drove for about five to ten more meters and then they stopped again and they were just holding there like they stopped there for quite a long time and i was starting thinking like what's going on um like i'm here with no phone my my boyfriend is like in the woods what are they doing um what what yeah so i think i waited for like 30 seconds and i started i had so many thoughts like what are they doing are they here to see if there are some allotment goddess that they can break into and steal something and as soon as they started and drove further down my boyfriend came from the woods and he was like pretty far away and I was like I'm gonna go to the garden and then I just started running because I was like if they're gonna steal something I didn't even lock the door so I was just like running up to the garden and then my boyfriend started running and he came after me and he came back from the woods because he had seen seen the same car the same guys and thought this seems odd um my boyfriend believed that they were much younger than they were supposed to be and that is probably a stolen car um so we like walked around the area and tried to see if we can find them somewhere um but we couldn't and uh yeah that was just so strange <laughs> so now i'm just back home i've been packing orders in the boutique and now my boyfriend is going to come pick me up and we're going to go and eat some dinner in his small small boat on the harbour so i just felt like sharing that story with you guys i have no idea who they were or what they were up to they might just have been four guys having fun and being a little bit uncomfortable we don't know <laughs> Hey guys, I am tuning in from the future to end this video in a proper way because I feel super guilty whenever I finish these videos and do not make a clip where I just say thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a thumbs up. And also, do you see my posts on, posts on Instagram these days? If you don't, please pop over and show me some love. Instagram is not a fan of pictures these days, so my posts are doing really bad. Also, the cottage is now completely clean. I'm definitely gonna stay over there um, very soon and hopefully multiple times over the summer. It's completely ready, there are no more excuses. So that's super exciting. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Gonna see you all very soon. Bye guys.